Hi there, welcome to USA Bocce's tutorial video introducing the ramp. The ramp is a very powerful tool that allows athletes from numerous backgrounds to participate in the sport of bocce. Before introducing the ramp to an athlete, make sure that the athlete cannot throw efficiently and consistently with their arms and hands. Also, check to see if the athlete can kick the ball. If throwing or kicking is not the athlete's means to propel the ball onto the court, then the ramp is the solution for the athlete to use to compete in the sport of bocce. First of all, it is best to keep the ramp centered on the athlete's body. This will enable the athlete to achieve an accurate aim and make the best shot possible. The athlete will want to get the ramp set up exactly right and may need to have the ramp move to the side one direction or the other. The ramp may overhang a sideline. However, the ramp may not overhang the front throwing line. While the ramp may overhang one of the sidelines, the base of the ramp itself may not touch any line. Let's watch this next video to see how the sports assistant can assure that the ramp does not touch any line. The athlete, the ramp, the balls, and the sport assistant are all to be inside the player's box upon release of the ball. Now that we've covered some things regarding the positioning of the ramp, next we want to have the athlete work on a release. The athlete can hold or trap the ball in the ramp with their hand, wrist, or chin. It's okay to help them get the ball into position and secure the ball. But the sport assistant must at some point let go and the athlete sustain the hold and then release it by themselves. It's encouraged to work on different releases. Initially, you're looking for a clean release that does not put spin on the ball. So lift up or pull to the side or trap the ball at its top or in front, whatever works for the athlete. In addition to the athlete using their hand or wrist or chin, a head stick or a hand stick or a mouse stick can also be used to release the ball. Most head sticks have the capability of sliding in order to make them shorter or longer. Some athletes have mouse sticks of different lengths as well. Additionally, it is possible to have the ball on a ledge and knock it off. Some athletes can move the ramp themselves. Others could give verbal directions or nonverbal gestures or eye movement to aim for the next shot. This command is usually right or left. In competition, the sports assistant cannot look out onto the court. For this reason, and to be able to hear and read the athlete's directions, the sports assistant faces the athlete with their back to the court. The sport assistant cannot influence the accuracy of the shot. At practice, the sport assistant is allowed to turn to look after the shot in order to help coach and give feedback. In order for the ball to go faster or slower, you need to change one of the following. Where you release the ball from, the slope of the ramp, or a combination of both. For many athletes with a spinal cord injury, they can't lean down to release the ball, or they can't reach up to release the ball. If an athlete has one release point on the ramp, the distance changes by raising or lowering the bottom of the ramp to get speed. This command from the athlete is usually up or down. You agree as to whether you are talking about the top of the ramp for those who can reach or the bottom of the ramp for those with a limited reach. Is it important to note that harder balls roll faster and softer balls roll slower? Our suggestion is that initially you have a set of bocce balls that are similar in density so that you can get to know how your ramp works. But as you grow in skill, 
You may have balls of different densities in order to do different things. For example, a hard ball might be really useful to speed out onto the court or to break up the cluster balls that are blocking the jack ball. We want to let you know that there is a USA Bocce loan bank that you can try out several different types of ramps, ball densities, and head sticks. USA Bocce can also connect you with a virtual coach if there's not a team in your area. You can email usabocce at gmail.com. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video.